What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this jury beginning of the work week Monday. Doing pretty good myself. I come across this particular uh, situation right here that's happening in Philadelphia. You know, crime is so bad, you know, all over the place. You know what I mean? I don't know if uh, where you guys live, you know, uh, your gas stations are constantly plagued with loiters, people who like to just hang out and whatever, acting like, you know, <laughs> the gas station is like some kind of arcade or something, you know. Well, it turns out like in Philadelphia, you know, they got it so bad there and the crime is so high that the owner at a gas station decided to hire uh, heavily armed, you know, uh, security guards to protect the business because of crime there. You know what I'm saying? I know like when I'm out and about and stuff like that, <laughs> some gas stations I would just go past because, you know, these people hang around them, just like I said, like some kind of they're arcades or something you know i just i never could understand that one time it got so bad you know the police had to really shut the gas station down just because they couldn't keep you know these uh loiterers you know hanging around there with shootouts and stuff like that and anybody knows the last place you want to shoot around is a damn gas pump you know that's just not good you know but yeah here in this particular situation right here felix state uh a gas station owner that is in Philadelphia hired some heavily armed security guards and this is a just about four minute video let's check it out and then we'll get into some commentary Absolutely. all right we had a question for you would this make you feel safe take a look a security guard armed with a semi-automatic weapon it's happening at a North Philly gas station the owner coming up with the idea to scare off criminals if you saw this, this is our go vote for tonight. Would you feel safer or uncomfortable? So right now the vote is 65% of you saying safer, 35% uncomfortable. So be sure to vote at fox29.com slash go vote. Seanette, you spoke with the gas station owner who says this is needed to keep both his workers and customers safe. Yeah, interesting listening to those numbers uh, you just gave us, Shiva. So the store manager says that he had to do something more than call 911. And most customers, I'll tell you, that I talked to this evening on and off camera say that they support this. But there were a few who say they don't believe this is the right approach. Hired security strapped with AR-15s or shotguns, standing guard and walking the property of this North Philly gas station and convenience store. This is supposed to be a city, right? And you got the kids walking around. Guns like this should be on the battlefield. Corey Berry says she's on board with it. If you're trying to get gas, you live in a bad area, and the only place is here, and they're getting robbed all the time, I mean, I support the owner. Neil Patel is the manager of this Carco shop franchise at Broad and Clearfield. We are tired from this all nonsense. Robbery, drug trafficking, racketings, all kind of hanging around your all gangs he shared with me these videos of what has led up to this drastic response to crime at his business over the past few weeks he says his store was trashed by young people an atm stolen out of the store and he says his car was vandalized while parked at the store they're forcing us to hire the security high level security state level i am fearful for my safety my employee as well as my nice neighborhood all customers. So three weeks ago, he hired the Pennsylvania site state agents. We were at Kevlar. We are trained. Michael has to go to training every other week. They're proficient with this. They're proficient with their taser. They know the laws. Andre Boyer is the chief of the company. As a Pennsylvania state agent, that's what it says. The law tells us that we have a right to protect this property in the, any means necessary and whatever force necessary to be used to protect it. This man told employees he's against it. I asked Patel about it. They feel like using guns, you know, when we have such a big problem with guns in the city is is not the right message. And that's not a nice way. I understand that, but according to the uh, some people, violent people, they carry the gun. Then they're not afraid then. And this is the protection for neighborhood and the customers. 
All right, so you heard him. He just said that uh, people who are against this are concerned about the armed security, but they should be concerned about the bad guys who are out there carrying the guns. Meanwhile, Patel says that he's had a store there for about 20 years. He said the crime has gotten increasingly worse just over the past few years. Um, and he tells me that in the past three weeks, he hasn't had any issues with the crime since bringing this company mm -hmm. on. And the people you talk to, Sean, I have this out on Twitter, and a lot of the comments are exactly what you got in response. Mm -hmm. This is where we are in the city. This is unfortunately uh, what we need to do to keep our stores and our, our customers safe if we own a, yeah. a gas station. And especially since you see everything that happened with this particular business owner. Mm -hmm. Sean, I just want to mention, too, just going back to our go vote. When we came on the air, I think it was around 65% who said that uh -huh. it makes them feel safer. Now it's at 80%. Just during your report, it jumped up that high. Wow. All yeah, right. it is certainly a sight to see, but people say it is for their safety. Yeah. All right, Sean, thank you very much. For more. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I guess your boy Neil Patel ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? He's getting tired of all that old madness around his establishment. You can't blame him. You can't blame him, you know, because it is so bad. Uh, look, things like this is even happening in places like Walmart. The crime is so bad. They're talking about even closing some of their uh, stores there, too, because they can't get a handle on the uh, crime that's taking place. Matter of fact, me and Joan went to uh, Walmart Friday. Turns out, you know, um, Google stopped, like, supporting the... Uh, fire stick for youtube the 2000 plus or whatever so we had to upgrade to the 4000k you understand and so we went to you know walmart to go and get one and the lady showed us what we had what she, what they had and everything and then when she showed us it was like she was very very apprehensive you know what i'm saying and uh Joan said okay thanks a lot this is what we want and everything and she said, okay, well, you got to pay me. You know what I'm saying? And we was headed to the cash register then. I mean, I don't know if the woman, like, was under the impression or just say on guard that if we possibly could have just snatched that particular stick from her and took off. And it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess, you know, she was so apprehensive because this is what's going on in these places on a regular. You know what I mean? You got these idiots out here. They don't care. They messing up their own communities. So, yeah, I think this strategy right here is a good strategy, and I think it should be adapted, you know, across the entire board here in America and public places like gas stations, Phyllis, you know, um, grocery stores and what have you. Because, uh, look, I would rather have armed security, responsible armed security around, you know, in a place, you know, where I'm visiting, you know. Then to worry about some damn criminals coming in there with guns. Don't tell them where, you know, they might open fire on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is bad. So I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Um, tell me if you think um, this is a good idea to hire, you know, armed security for these gas stations or not. You know, tell me in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people. Please remember to live your life as though we're being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.